I want you guys to research this as this will be my last video for the night and get back with me in the morning with what information you come up with. Binary and non-binary. God is binary. Why would I say that? Back to the computer coding. When I explained to you guys in my last video, ones and zeros mean something with computer coding. You come up with an age that way. You come up with words that way. It all have a meaning. Just using ones and zeros. God is binary. People want to say they non-binary when they actually not. You pushing away from God by saying you're a non-binary. Understand, look this up. Um, binary coding found at grave sites or at a graveyard. It should be a video where you see somebody having a device going to a grave. Hush! Hush! You should see somebody walking. Hush up, man. Leave the cat alone. You should see somebody walking by at a graveyard or a grave site and computer coding will be popping up on their device. Ones and zeros. The reason of that, there is life after death. So it still reads, it's still showing as if that person is speaking, something is going on. And eternal life. People would rather argue with the facts than understand the truth because it becomes scary or they like to go against God. The Bible never lied. Like I say, research and get back to me with what you may think or do you want me to continue? Although I am going to continue making these videos explaining and showing how God is real. I went along ahead and edit the video and did the research for you, but I still would like to know what do you actually think about this? Collecting binary codes from the cemetery, dude. This is very interesting. Y'all need to go follow this guy too, man. Look, guys. We're going in 2021. Wait, wait, wait. It's a wild guess why, but we're what running binary codes? binary codes here, guys. Off the get, thing. Get, up, get away from me. Guys, we're right here at the cemetery, and this person was gone in 2023, and we're collecting binary codes. We have both of our phones on airplane mode, so it collects no binary codes at all. But when you get close to her grave, look, you had a number right there. Get close. It's 2022, guys. Binary codes up the ass right there. There's information coming out of the graves, guys. And, and doctor, just so everybody knows, because they think. Look, look, guys, that grave is is giving binary codes. Ever wonder how a computer can understand everything you type or see? The answer lies in just two words zero and one, or better yet, known as binary code. And today I'm going to explain to you what exactly is binary code like a fifth grader so you never forget it and, I mean, you can sound really cool and smart at parties. Every keystroke, every meme, every epic game all starts with binary. And you can think of it like a secret language for your computer's brain. And everything from letters to pictures, videos, you favorite song is built with these ones and zeros like a secret set of Lego blocks. All right, let's go through an example. Let's do A, letter A. This is what it would look like in binary code. Okay, what about music? So sounds are like bouncy lines, squiggly bouncy lines, and we turn them into numbers. Then those numbers get translated into zeros and ones. So how does it all work though? Well, first the code that a developer writes to build these apps or websites gets translated into binary code by a compiler. 
And this is where the CPU comes in. The central processing unit, you can think of, as I mentioned, as the computer's brain. And it's responsible for fetching, decoding, and executing instructions from the binary code. And it does this in a continuous cycle, like what I just mentioned. So next time you want to understand how computers are able to understand what images are, what code is, anything like that, you can think it all boils down to binary code. It's the language which computers understand. Okay, also last thing. You can research this part yourself, but I don't know how you will actually look it up. But they stored so much information in someone's brain or into a brain, and it didn't take up no space at all. And they was like, wow, that's amazing. Just like a computer, your brain store and delete information. But if you could access all the information, nothing's really deleted. You just forgot about it. Sometimes even if you delete something on your computer, you could go into it and still see it's there. That's why they say once you put something onto the internet, it's forever on the internet.